Hey everybody, Andrew here. Welcome to Living the Northern Life. In this episode, we got our water installed. We've got the framing all set up here. Leave your comments down below. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button to follow along. It doesn't cost you a thing and it sure means the world to us. Let's get into this. All right, so one of the next things that we've got to do is we've got to get these two by fours mounted into the floor. Uh, I've marked off some spots where I think I want some studs to go. I may move those around yet, not 100% sure, uh, but I have where I'm gonna lag these pieces into the concrete. So I've got to drill holes here and then uh, drill in the concrete. Okay, I also uh, cut a few chunks of a uh, sill gasket here to put underneath uh, to cause a separation between the concrete and the two by fours. So I'm gonna try to get that mounted and get my concrete bit put into the holes now that I've got them uh, pre-drilled. Uh, so it should be a little easier now. So we're gonna be using some four inch uh, long by half inch sleeve anchors here. Uh, hopefully that should give us enough support as we put those in the wall. So now I got to get drilling the holes in the concrete and uh, we'll see if we can get these things mounted. So now I'm just going to tighten them down, but I'm not going to kill it. So what are the famous last words? That ain't going nowhere. And I'm probably not going to do this side yet because what I have to do... <laughs> here, let me set the laser level up and you guys can see what's going on here. So if we can agree, the laser level is right on the edge of my brand new installed two x four. Let me get my measuring tape here. You can see that it's out about an inch from the wall, about an three quarters of an inch there. So that's not a big deal. So I'm just gonna put the two x four to the line and make it level. But up here, you can see that it's an inch and a half off. So is that, or uh, yeah, an inch and five eighths, give or take there. And an inch and three quarters there. Look at that, isn't that lovely? Okay, so why this matters is when my two by four comes up here, I need to cut it at inch and a half, inch and a half, A little over an inch and three quarters. Inch and three quarters. Inch and three quarters. But you can tell that the header is uh, crooked. So then we go over here. We'll have to measure here. There's an inch and three quarters again. And inch and three quarters. And one last one here. So it's got to go up the whole wall. So that's three quarters at the bottom and an inch and three eighths at the top. Not terrible, but still out. Working with old houses sure is fun. These guys didn't give a crap when they built it because there's nothing level in here. We uh, ran the laser around the floor and the floor is out by half an inch to an inch everywhere uh it's up in places down in other places and the slopes don't even make any sense so lots of fun and this base plate here i'm gonna build i got four studs and in between these two studs here i'm going to be putting a two by eight to mount the uh water on uh and then as it gets to the top i'll put another two by eight up so it can mount the shower to it and then just over here, we have a handle, um, a separate tap that we can turn on. So it's gonna get another two by eight um, in here. I'm gonna build this all at once and then slide it in. But I definitely can't do that until this wall is built. I didn't realize my camera wasn't looking at what I was doing. It was pointed down to the ground. But what I was doing here is I was writing measurements that we needed to cut our uh, two by fours here. And the thickness, you can see that the thicknesses are a little bit different. It's uh, 
inch and three eighths over here, inch and a half, inch and five eighths, and an inch and five eighths to an inch and three quarters. So what I'm gonna try to do is to put a, a two by four on the flat over here, get it level, and then put a shim underneath this edge over here. So I just have a piece of shim here behind this one. I'm only putting one screw in at the top, nothing at the bottom yet. I have to build this wall yet. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fasten this stud to the stud on this wall here. And then it'll like that, it's level now, but I just wanna make sure that it's in there good. Uh, so we're gonna get to building this wall or some of it. Uh, the issue that I'm gonna have is the water. Uh, so I don't know if this space between these two studs right here is going to be enough. So I might have to widen that out just a little bit. So this is the water system here. And what I need to do is to be able to get the shark bites in here, add a little bit of PEX um, so that I can put the 90 degree uh, shark bites on the end of it and know how much space I've got between my studs. So that way, if I need to take the uh, shark bite 90 degree corners off, that I can do that without having to wreck everything because it's gonna be open from behind. So I think that that's a real benefit for us. So if we have any problems, we can adjust this in and out uh, depending on the thickness of our, like we know that our concrete board is half inch thick, um, but we also need to make sure that this is stuck out to, there, there's a little lip on here, if you can see that. So that needs to be sticking out past the concrete board so that we can tile up against it. And so we just want to make sure that it's all adjusted correctly. So I guess one negative thing that I found is that these little screws are expected to hold this thing in and uh, I just don't feel comfortable with a screw that small so I'm gonna go buy some new ones. I'm gonna mount this board though so that I can get it uh, level and uh, then we can worry about mounting the box. I'm gonna put my screws in from this side, take them out and then put them on the other side so that I know exactly where they're gonna go. Each connection is getting um, Teflon tape and then I'm adding the sealant on it so that way when it dries it will never leak. You don't have to over tighten these because the thread sealant will seal that off for sure. I've got three pointed up, one pointed down for the uh, hand washer and going up to the shower head. I had mounted this a little earlier. So I have four screw holes in here. I don't know if I can zoom in and show you that from where they are but I know that these holes are level now.
So on this set from Amazon, if I can show you, there's the, the bubble on here, which shows me when it's level. It's a sweet set. We paid 119 Canadian for it. And uh, I think there's a discount code right now. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still valid by the time this posts. We're gonna check this thing out. And like I was saying, you can see that this valve has a level on it. And uh, from the best I could tell, it looks level from here. So I'm gonna call that good. And it's all set. I'm gonna let that dry. And then when we figure this out, we'll be mounting the two by six up in here somewhere. And then the mount for the handheld. All right, so I did some work off camera here. There is uh, so many angles and measurements that uh, I decided not to bore you guys with it because yours could be different than mine. Um, so one of the things that we had done is we measured from the corner over, but we're using uh, 12 inch tiles. And so originally it wasn't gonna be in the middle of the 12 inch tiles. And right now we're still guessing I'm assuming it's going to be there. Uh, I measured 18 and three quarter inches, assuming half inch concrete board with a quarter inch for the tiles and then over 18 inches from that. So I'm 18 and three quarter inches off that wall. So I'm thinking that's where I'm at. Uh, we put in the top, the shower and the handle. I was able to find a little brass uh, insert here to bring that out to three quarters of an inch. Uh, so that accounts for the half inch concrete board and a quarter inch for the tile because the nipple on the, uh, or the male fitting on the handle uh, is only three eighths of an inch long, which means that if I tried to leave this uh, uh, back to where the concrete board is, that uh, it would only be fitting in an eighth. So I had to get this, I had to, measure everything and push it back. And we haven't set this yet with the uh, same com compound that we did uh, here. So when we put the concrete board up, we're going to be able to see if this is exactly where it needs to be. And we can, you know, pull this out, adjust it, whatever we need to do yet. Um, Cause you know, I can loosen that off. And when the Teflon tape and the thread sealant goes in it, uh, you know, it's going to make sure it sets and it's not going to leak. We're going to dry fit this, but then I've got to go get some elbows to reconnect my water to my uh, valve here. And then we're going to turn the water on and uh, see what happens. So I'm going to buy uh, four more, four more shark bite elbows um, to be able to, to put this in over down. And then the hot water or the cold water goes in over down on the cold water side and the hot water We'll go over and down. Uh, so I just need three, I guess. But yeah, so I need some more parts. So I bought this little tool. It's uh, almost like a pencil sharpener and it also gives you the depth of where your pecs should sink into your shark bites. Uh, so as you can see here on this corner, it peels off uh, if it's not level, so it makes it perfectly level. And I've drawn that line using Sharpie this time around, uh, so I can really see it. And now I'm just gonna connect it into the upper and then the lower. Okay, so it's all piped in. I'm gonna turn the water on just to see if the valve leaks. I'm not going to turn the taps on because that would come gushing out at me and I don't really want that at this moment. Let's see if the valve leaks. No leaks at that joint. No leaks at that joint. Or that joint. Or that one. No leaks that I can see on the cold side. No leaks I can see on the hot side. All right. Just give this another couple minutes. Leave the water on to see if it's leaking. All right, thanks guys. Well, that's gonna be it for this episode. 
Thank you so much for joining along. It, uh, it's taking me a little longer than I thought it was going to. Uh, we had to go buy some more parts and all that. We've been collecting um, stuff to build with for about six months or so. Uh, that way, you know, we didn't feel all the pinch all at once. I thought I had everything. Uh, of course, you know, the walls weren't level and all that good stuff. You guys saw it earlier. Um, but we're moving along. And like I say, the next thing that has to happen, we got to put the concrete board up. Uh, we're going to be using uh, Schluter around the bottom edges uh, that you guys will see. Uh, and then thin setting and then tiling and uh, lots more to do. But I sure can't wait to get into this shower. The link to this shower is uh, down below. If this is something you guys want to purchase, uh, just click on the link. Anything that you purchase from us over the next 24 hours after clicking that link, we'll get a small commission and it sure helps us out. All right, guys. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button to follow along. It doesn't cost you a thing, and it sure means the world to us. And until the next one, keep living the Northern Life. Thanks for watching Living the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.